Jared Poland Fronos photo.com and I know colds because I've got one but I've got Corey Anderson I got that right Corey Anderson on the line he called the Skype line yes the Skype line is still open I do actually answer it and I had to give him a call back because I was uploading a video but Corey how are you doing I'm doing good all Thanks. right Corey you had uh you were going to ask me a question well a couple um you know I follow your site uh, re religiously since you started it's a great thank you uh, source of uh sure of uh <clears throat> info and helped me along the way uh, i had a couple um questions that are a little bit different than like the normal that people are asking but um first of all I'll just give you like a little history i've been doing like photography but maybe like um serious maybe like three years uh you know i got two young kids and when i had my my daughter who's now four I did what a lot of people do, got a DSLR because it looks big, it's expensive, so, you know, obviously it must take good pictures, right? So I picked one of those up, didn't really know what I was doing with it for like a whole year, started doing some research, started figuring out all the, all the gadgets on it and how to do things right, and sure. then I got really into it. And I'm really starting to get to the point where I'm starting to get pretty proud of my work and other people are starting to notice it as well. Um, you know, I shoot my kids a lot. And then I dabble in other things. Um, I guess my genres that I really do like is, uh, you know, like weddings and portraits, but I uh, haven't done any weddings. And the only portraits I really do are for friends and family. Sure. Uh, I have a career, which I'm never, I'm not going to give up because I love it and, it, you know, it's stable. Are you a cop? Oh, I am. Uh, how did I know that you're a cop? Because I sent you that thing when you sent me those shirts. Oh, that was you. And you probably remember that. You sent me the, uh, you sent me this. Yeah. As a oh, thing. you can't see. I'll just show the people on the screen. Oh, see, I didn't know. See, I didn't put two and two together. I guess that you're a cop based oh, on, you did? on your voice. Oh. And that you probably are about six foot four and an ex-football player. Wrestling, but close enough. Close. Yeah, see, I, prof I profiled you. How about that? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for the coin. <laughs> If you don't do photography, I guess you could be a uh, fortune teller. A profiler. Just call me a TSA wow. agent. I'll profile with the best of them. I hope you've got good <laughs> groping skills as well. I'm, I'm good. I got groped a few times. All right. So, nice. okay. So, my question is don't want to give that up. Want to move forward with my photography, but like a lot of people do, they want to jump into the business aspect. I would like to get paid for my work because you say don't just give everything away for free, especially right. if you're proud for, of it. But, you know, like I was telling you, I'm a guy, so I like to have new toys to play with. You know, I'd like to get the biggest, the newest lenses and stuff, but can't really afford that, especially my salary. But sure. I'd like to have my work pay for some of my gear. So how do I do it so it's almost like semi-pro because I know there's a lot of rules, contracts, and stuff like that for going professional. I don't really want to get on all that, but where do, how do I move forward as far as, you know, getting paid getting a paid. decent amount for my work. Yeah, so basically you want to get paid to do your work so that you can afford to have the gear and basically either make a little extra money or just get enough for your camera equipment, right? Well, and definitely worth, you know, make it worth my time and effort. All right. So you said you like shooting weddings. Well, I like... Or the idea of shooting I weddings. I like shooting weddings. You know, I like going to weddings. I've been to a few. I've had my... I have my own. Um, when I do research on making my... Stuff betting, I, I, my, my work better. I always find myself in weddings forms on photography sites because okay. I just I just love it. But I'm that's something you could really you could really mess up someone's life if you don't know what you're doing. You yeah. know what I mean? So I haven't gone and say, hey, I'll shoot your wedding for whatever and make you a great deal because until I'm to that point where I know exactly what I'm doing, I wouldn't want to. Well, number one, if you wanted to get into weddings, you can probably find a professional out there that will allow you to either assist or just show up and shoot a wedding as either a second or a third shooter and maybe mm -hmm. just do it for the experience so that you get there, you, d you give them the files, and you're not, you know, they don't have anything to lose. You're not going to mess up the day, so you don't have to worry about that, but you can get a feel for how they run a day, the photos they shoot, and then they'll give you feedback on your work. That's, that's one thing you can do uh, before yeah. you get into, you know, starting to take your own weddings. But take your career and the fact that you have kids, you have a built-in... You already know a lot of people, right? Yep. Uh, obviously, because you, you you know in with the kids, you, do you enjoy shooting kids' portraits? Yes, all right. Very much. 
that's an easy to me that's an easy one you've got you have two kids they go to the park all the time you're a cop you're not going to be seen as that weird guy at the park with a camera who doesn't have a kid there so you already have you already have the kids friends uh birthday you go to birthday parties so if you just go to a birthday party, you bring your camera, you take a couple of images, and you give some of the photos. I've said this one a million times, but it just seems easy to me. You give the photos back you know, to the kids that are there, to their parents, and then they see that, and, and they go, wow, we really like what you did. Would you like to come to Johnny's birthday party and take the photos, and we'll give you a couple bucks? So right there, you know, at a birthday party, not only... You know, are you you're, well? You're going to the party because the kids are there, or maybe even some others. You won't be, but you're going to get some nice candid shots, so that the parents have something to remember. They're not rushing to take their own pictures, which are only boring most of the time. Uh, and then it gives them a thank you gift to give back to the parents who gave, you know, gifts, so that they literally they'll go and email a photo that they took of somebody else's kid playing around with Bozo the clown or Bimbo the clown. Or clump and dump I ran into once before. But, but yeah, basically they'll give a photo back as, hey, here's a thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the gift. And now they're basically getting your work out there for you. Uh, so it, it spreads pretty quick, especially if you're good and uh, you have people skills. So you, you're a cop. Mm-hmm. You probably have people skills, right? So Yeah, so you're talking about more like just – let word of mouth do the work for you instead of doing something like going on Craigslist and then oh. that could turn into a whole world of trouble that you're not even ready oh, for. Oh yeah, don't don't t- I I'm not a Craigslist fan. Anybody that's on Craigslist looking for photography or looking for models, quote unquote, you know, yep. isn't good. Uh, if you know, I looked there for weddings before, and there are people that want a four hundred dollar or an eight hundred dollar wedding. It's not worth the aggravation. No, you have a built. You already have a built in. Uh, you know, you have the kids and you can photograph them and that's that's the best thing i say is really go to the park and just be like listen do you mind if i take just ask permission do you mind if i take some photos of the of the kids playing i'll give you some to put on facebook for free so you're giving them that with a water you know you put a watermark they put it on facebook as their profile picture and what happens for the friends want to know yeah 150 200 we all have average 180 friends or something these days on there and their friends see it and you, that little gift that you gave to them gives you access to somebody that you don't know who in that case ter- that you can turn around and charge them for. And an average shoot for going to the park and photographing a kid, there's no reason why for two, you know, an hour and a half of shooting that you shouldn't make $225, $325 for a full-on package, even $200. Even to say, listen, for $200, I'll come out and I'll take a photograph of your take photos of your kids. I'll give you 10 photos to put up on Facebook and a couple of eight by tens. It's $200. You know, if you add that on a Saturday or whenever you're off or at night, you do that a couple times a week, a month and you're subsidizing the car payment, you know, or the mortgage and, and stuff like that. So it's, um, it spreads like that. And I know I say it sounds, or I, I explain it in a way that seems easy to me, but it really does. If you're willing to just get out there and do that work. I think the it spreads pretty quick, especially using social media. That is the best advertising. Seems to be. That's that's a really good idea. Thank you. That will be 49.50. I'll buy a shirt. How about that? Or you already had I you already did. I have Yeah, so it's already been paid. So Yeah. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm here for for it's, this. It's straight. All right. But that that's one basic idea. The weddings thing you could do more for the long haul. Um if you just if you really are interested in that, find a photographer in the area who will allow you to shoot, just to shoot. And don't forget, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what you're allowed to do with, you know, with your career as a cop, but there's probably charity events that they go to. Um, there's probably parades and things like that that you'll have better access to get to. Literally on an off day, see if you could tell the story. The day in the life of a, of a cop where you're either sitting in the car. I love these type of things where you start in the morning with the cop at night, going to work, getting ready in the car, answering calls, going out. And I know you have to be careful with, you know, if you're arresting somebody and getting their picture, I wouldn't do that. But just literally tell the story of, say, the police chief. Be like, listen, chief, can I come in and do these type of photos of you working and showing what you do? I think it would be really cool. And then it just, you know, it, just different ideas like that. I love... I love doing stuff like that. And if you're interested, that is a good way in 
and you know you could become the photographer you know everybody's got kids they have no people who are getting married and could use a portrait so you know you have the whole cops organization there and then firefighters and all of that yeah so you can go do firefighters portraits you know you can go to the the you can do all the portraits of all your colleagues and and just play around and then see where that goes because it leads to hey we need a family portrait can you come over and do it we need a photo of the dog we need a photo of the kids it just it can spread really quick like that it's snowballing okay that makes good sense yeah all right well thanks so i hope that helps out yeah if you got time i had like it's a, it's a little bit different than uh it kind of spins out this question but it's another question sure but it's a gear question if Go that's ahead. all right um it's not i got i shoot an icon but i guess it would doesn't really matter on which format. So, like, I got a D7000, so I'm on the crop sensor, and um, two of my lenses are full frame, and my, my best lens, which is the 17 to 55. Yeah, I love it. Love it. I just love it. But that's, if I ever move to full frame, that's not going to work on full frame. That's so, okay. I want to move to full frame just for the advantages of it. And um, Actually, a while back, I got a D700, but it was too much for me too soon, so I got rid of it and just made my money back. Yep. But uh, now that I'm ready for it and uh, want to move forward and, and get that, would you um, recommend just keeping my D7000 and working them both, or is it going to be too hard having two formats? Because that, that, my best lens is only going to be able to use on one body, if you know well, what I mean. What are your other two lenses? I got the 50, the new 50G. Okay. AFSG, and then I got an 80 to 200 D. All right. The, 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 the push pull or the two touch? Uh, the two touch. All right. That, that's going to be a great lens. So you already have some good glass. So you, you could take the next step. I would, I would say wait until this 800 or whatever is supposed to be announced when we don't know. Like if you can wait a little bit, I'd wait. That's what I am doing. Yeah. yeah you may be able to get a D700 again for even less. Or it may be worth it just to step up to the new thing. And what happens with your 17 to 55, you could trade that in or you could sell it for, I mean, what do they sell for now? What did you pay for that? I got it on Craigslist for 900 You could sell it for 900 tomorrow. Yeah, and I've seen on eBay upward of 1000 with the shape that it's in. It it's a great lens. I owned it. Uh, you'll, you'll have no problem selling that. The next lens to pick up is a 24 to 70, 2.8. Because then, then I can use that on both, both cameras. Yeah, I mean, I would keep the seven hundred, the seven thousand, unless you can get a good amount out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I shot with one body for quite a long time, and the seven thousand is just a backup. It sits in the bag because it just does. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, if you could get you know a thousand bucks out of that camera, which you should be able to, plus nine hundred bucks out of that first lens, you're into a twenty-four to seventy really easy. Plus yep. uh, maybe add a flash, and you're good. Okay. Yeah, it, to me, it's all about glass. And that's what I tell people, you know, you have that 17 to 55, it's holding its value. It's all, it people want to know, <laughs> excuse me, how I got, you know, all of this gear. They sit there and go, wow, how'd you afford all of that? I say it's a lot of smart thinking and planning on when I trade up, it doesn't cost me much more to invest in a better piece of glass when I've already got a, you know, a thousand dollars worth of, you know, a lens that I can get a thousand dollars for and a new lens is, you know, say 600. So it's only costing me 600 to go to the new lens instead of 1600. So, you know, doing it smart, you know, dumping what you can dump when you can, when it still holds its value is definitely worth it. Yep. So cool. Okay, cool. All right. That's all I got. All right. So I'll do an outro, hang on the line and we'll finish up. But, uh, thank you for the coin again. Oh, well, thanks for uh, thanks for everything and all the advice and hard work that you put into the site. No problem, no problem. Uh, so yeah, guys, the Skype line is still open. I do answer it. I do take calls and help people out when they do give a ring. Thank you, Corey, very much. Thank you. All right, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.